a video review of the Hoshino Resort's Kaito Hotel in Ito City, Japan. I'm Chris, this is my daughter, the princess, and in this video, we're gonna review this hotel. We are in room 515 that you see right here. This is Japanese style room TA3. They have a lot of different room types. First, I'm gonna show you around the room, and then we'll look around the property um, as traditional in a Japanese style room. Main room, tatami mats, though a little bit of Western style. Instead of sitting on the floor, you've got these interesting sofa seats to sit on. They did check in in the room. They didn't make tea. We had to make the tea, and it came with some Japanese snacks. All right, now come with me over here. I want to show you this room. This is the bedroom, and there are three beds in this bedroom. One, two, three. They are mattresses, not futons, and uh, there's one that's not made yet. We're gonna have to figure that one out, but our daughter's claimed that one for herself. All right, there's a big closet over here, and when we open up this closet, some lights turn on. Uh -huh. And in addition to space for hangers, there are uh, yukatas in the room to go down to the public bath, jackets to wear over the yukatas. And then if we come over here, we can see the bathroom is divided into two. The first half of the bathroom is right there. Toilet, one of those fancy Japanese toilets. Up here is the fancy tea set in the room. You gotta make your own tea uh, in this drawer. We've got all the different teas and glasses and stuff. And then there is a refrigerator right down below. In the refrigerator, a few mini bar items and some drinking water. All right, now I wanna show you the last part of the room, which is the main bathroom. Oh, there's an entryway over here where there's some like slippers in there um, and a, a really big uh, thing to like help put on your shoes. I mean, that's pretty good. I've seen a lot of elderly people staying in this hotel and a stool to sit on so you can take on and off your shoes there. And uh, here we go with the bathroom. The bathroom's pretty big. This part's also divided into two. There's the sink part right here, stool you can sit on. Um, bathroom amenities contained in this very nice kai wrapper that has like your toothbrush and hairbrush and those sorts of things and then the final part of the room will come in right over here this is the bathtub and shower part of the room it has a handheld shower there's a mirror um, there's this wooden bathtub as is the tradition in japanese hotels they like to oh, sit when they shower and so there's a stool and a bucket that you can fill up with water and then do over your head to do your hair. This hotel is a pretty small hotel, seven stories in total and just about 30 rooms. It's located in central Ito town, about a kilometer from the train station and a kilometer from the coast. There's really nothing around it. I mean, there's a lot of stuff around it. There's a residential community and some businesses, but there aren't really any touristy attractions here. So you'll either be taking a shuttle, a bus, a taxi, or driving your car in, which is what we did. I think it's a perfect place to stay if you have a car and can get around that way. Now, as you come into the hotel, uh, there are two free parking lots that are like right next to the hotel. Well, one's right next to it and one's kind of one street away, but they're like a one minute walk. Uh, and then you come in through this interesting kind of like staircase up into the hotel, this bright lobby with some Japanese art, very sort of Zen to it. Uh, and then there's the check-in desk. Beyond the check-in desk, there's a whole bunch of seats. When we came and checked in, they had us sit in these seats and then perform the rest of the check-in in in the room. In addition to these seats, they call it the like library area. They've got um, free coffee and tea here during certain hours of the day, a gift shop off on the side. And then from this area, you can see down below into the hotel garden, which is home to a very nice warm heated swimming pool and also the uh, public bath, the hot spring, the onsen, probably the reason why you're actually staying at this hotel. Going down to the first floor, um, which is where that onsen and pool was, is also where the hotel's main restaurant is, where they serve breakfast and dinner if you've reserved dinner. Now, just outside the hotel's restaurant is the lounge. This is for you to use when you're done with the hot spring bath. They've got some interesting healthy tea in here and also some popsicles, uh, lemon, and uh, berry flavored were the ones that we had. And then just out in front of the lounge is actually a foot spa where you can enjoy um, just putting your feet in the hot water if you don't wanna go in the whole public bath and take off your clothes sort of thing. But if you didn't wanna use the public bath, 
Again, I don't know why you'd be spending the amount of money to stay in this hotel. Now that we've seen everything around the hotel, it is time for the final review. And if you watch our reviews regularly, you'll know we rate things on a scale of one to five Tophers. And so, Princess, how many Tophers does this hotel get? Four Tophers, that's right. All right, so now we're gonna talk about the pros and the cons of this hotel and why it got four Tophers, why it didn't get five. So, pro, first of all, um, nice big room. We enjoyed the room. We enjoyed the three beds in the room. Worked perfect for us. We enjoyed just the general vibe and layout of the hotel. Kind of this modern Japanese style combined together. Um, pretty new hotel, but they've kept it, they've made it in a classic way. The staff was, um, I think, all pretty helpful and friendly during our stay. The onsen, the hot spring, which is why we stay here for sure, uh, was nice because it has an indoor portion and an outdoor portion. And the outdoor portion is made to be like a natural kind of rock feature with plants and things that you look at. If you're looking for a hotel that has an outdoor onsen, this will probably be a good one for you, particularly because there's only 30 rooms. And so the onsen bath can just never be all that crowded. It was also nice. It had a really warm swimming pool uh, and and a foot bath that you could use next to the swimming pool as well. The breakfast, uh, we had the breakfast option with the room. It was, um, I mean, a decent Japanese style breakfast, but frankly, I prefer onsen hotels that do a buffet breakfast. Uh, dinner, I can't comment on because we did not elect the dinner portion of the stay. So now let's talk about the cons. Um, first con, it's a, it's around nothing. There's really nothing you can walk from this hotel to. There's no, really not even a nearby like convenience store or 7-Eleven. So any food or snacks you're gonna wanna eat or drink in the room, you will want to bring with you. Also, for such kind of a high-end, expensive hotel, you know, $500 a night, I would have expected more staff, like, hanging out in front of the hotel. Like, when we arrived to the hotel, it was really confusing as to where we should park. It wasn't really clear. And then all the spaces had cones on them. And so um, it just seemed like I, I would have liked more help at the front. When we wrongly checked into the other Kai Hotel, in Ito, which is the Kai Anjin. Like as soon as we parked our car, staff members came out with umbrellas to help out with things. And for here, we just seem to like be fending for ourselves when we arrived to the hotel. Just a little strange, that's all. I would have loved a better breakfast. I would have loved a view out of these windows. I think some of the rooms that face the garden have a view, but our windows are completely frosted and so you like can't see out of them at all, which just made the room feel a little bit more kind of enclosed. The whole bed fee thing's kind of weird, so like uh, you get two beds when you pay for the room price, but then if you book a child, you don't get a bed for Free, even though there's three beds in the room and the gray bed that was in the room we had to pay an extra 5,000 yen to have them make the bed. Did you just throw Topher? <laughs> yeah, the Topher is not a ball to be thrown. He is a member of the crew right here. Uh, so now the question is, would we stay here again? I mean, we enjoyed it. Um, we stayed in better onsen hotels and frankly in the Hoshino family. Just before this, we stayed at the Rizanare in Atami uh, and that one was like, leaps and bounds better in my opinion, particularly for having a three-year-old along with us. And so if you wanna see my review of that video, or I should say our review of that hotel, you can check it out right here. I consider that the most kids-friendly hotel in Japan that we've stayed at. You'll also find a link in the description below. As usual, we won't say goodbye because we're gonna see you in the next video.